Hi, I'm Aaron Jenkins. Leonard's Antique Bed Inventory is the largest pre-Civil War collection in the country. In addition to our antique four-post beds, we offer handcrafted replicas of hard-to-find styles. Last year, we sold beds to 47 states and nine foreign countries. New England deliveries are usually done by our own truck and include setup. For other areas of the country, we carefully pack beds in customized boxes and ship via UPS. Most in-stock beds ship from our dock to the customer's home in five to seven working days. Depending on the bed size, Dave Pacheco, our warehouse manager, inspects, wraps, and boxes the bed parts as demonstrated here. I usually pack two posts to a box, the headboard and cross rails into another like this one. A third box is packed with side rails and a center rail as needed. Our specialty hardware, including a bed wrench and bolts like these, are packed separately with assembly instructions. Assembling a four-poster bed is quite simple. First, unpack the boxes, exercising care with the box cutter. Notice that each piece is stamped with letters and numbers. On a carpet or blanket, spread out parts and match up the stamped letters so that all pieces marked HL are together, HR parts are together, FL parts are together, and FR parts are together. We recommend assembling the head end first, which will be all those parts stamped with an H. Fit the tenons and headboard tabs into their respective mortises. Insert the bed bolt and tighten using the bed wrench provided. Assemble the foot end next, matching all parts stamped with an F. As the bolts are inserted, they will connect with the custom engineered rectangular bed nut, which is embedded in each rail. After the head end and foot end are assembled, fit one side rail into the head end and then foot end, securing each end. Repeat with other side rail. If your bed is a king, there will be a center rail with angle irons for box spring support on both sides. When your bed frame is assembled, simply drop in the box spring. The top of the box spring will be slightly below, flush with, or slightly above the top of the side rail. Give each bed bolt one final turn with the bed wrench, and your bed is now ready for a good night's sleep.